Everybody, welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023, and we are back with our MLB best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these MLB videos every single day, along the NBA and NHL. No NHL today, since we have obviously have no games. We will be back tomorrow with the NHL. We'll also be having a PGA Championship Tournament video coming out either today or tomorrow morning. Uh, look out for that on YouTube, so make sure you hit that notification bell. We, have, we do have the NBA as well today. NBA with a 3-0 last night. We had three more picks in Game 1 of Celtics and Heat. So definitely check that video out. Uh, we're going after our first 7,500 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, not our best day. We went 1-2 and two yesterday. Our best bet of the day, which we hammered. Uh, we had the Rangers money line that was a winner. Uh, that was the best bet. We had the Guardians that was a tough loss, and then Arizona. Man, fuck. I mean, Diamondbacks. I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, how do you blow an eight four lead to the worst team in the majors? Absolutely atrocious loss. I guess Vegas may have called them in. I was like, hey guys, like we gotta let the A's like win some games, but whatever. I mean, it is a tough loss. It happens. We're seven and four of our last eleven though, so sixty five percent or so. One hundred three and eighty three for the year. Twenty games over five hundred. Um, and we have three picks today in the MLB. Let's get right into them. Uh, we got a couple totals. We got a side. I might be adding a little bit more later. Members, you get those texted to you or real super Twitter. So we have three picks today in the MLB that are locked and loaded. We have the over. I'll start with our best bet, which is the over nine in the Phillies and Giants game. The starting pitching for both of these teams is extremely lackluster today in Walker. Um, he's three and two with a five seven five ERA. That's pretty rough. Means he got a lot of run support in those games. Um, and Stripling for the for uh, for the Giants is zero and two with a seven point one four ERA. Both are both are horrendous. Their bullpens are both bottom ten in the league. San Francisco being bottom three, they're absolutely terrible. Both can score specifically the Phillies. They have some serious power in the lap. Now they're getting guys back in the lineup. I see this game going way over today. It's a day game in San Francisco. It's blowing out into the bay. I love San Francisco. I love the over nine here in the San Francisco and the uh, Phillies game. Next, we have the Reds money line. It gets like minus 102, minus 110, depending on what sports book you use. Uh, the sharp money is all over the Reds here today. Ashcraft is a really solid pitcher. Other than, the, other than an abject disaster of a start against the White Sox a few weeks back, um, where he let up like 11 runs in one inning. Other than that, he's been fit. he's been very, very good this whole year. Uh, the bullpen for Cincinnati is top seven in the league. Um, while the starting pitcher for Colorado today in Gomber is below average, he's a 3-4. Uh, he's 3-4 and four with a 6-3 ERA. Um, their bullpens are, I mean, the, the bullpens for the uh, Rockies is very middle of the pack, kind of below average. While the red while the Reds bullpen is top, like I said, seven in the league, um, the, the the offenses typically lo looking at the stats here are basically a draw. Uh, so if the, if the offenses are a draw, we have to look at the pitching. The, the Reds have the obvious pitching advantage here. I'll roll with the Reds my line here um, against the Rockies. Next, we have the over nine in the Diamondbacks and the A's. Uh, both bullpens are total trash, as we saw last night. Uh, both starting pitchers are trash today as well. Uh, the Diamondbacks are great offensively. They're top 10 every single hitting category, as we saw the last two games and we've seen all season. And the A's just can just hit dingers. They hit, <laughs> they, they can hit home runs. If their home run game is on, they'll go over. I really like this game. I'd be adding the run line for Arizona again in this game, uh, just because I think that the A's are going to bounce, the, the, uh, the Diamondbacks are going to bounce back hard against the A's. But I like the over here. I think the Diamondbacks score like 10 runs today. I think it could be just 10 nothing or something like that. So I might take the minus 1.5, but we're going to go the over nine for now. Might be adding that a little bit later. Now, like I said, I have a few other games I'm looking to add. I want to make sure I get these videos out to you all. So for those guys who are members, you get those other picks texted to you. Everybody else, um, you check my Twitter. My Twitter is in the description below. And if you want to become a member, become a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. That website is linked in the comments below. As a member, you get all of our picks early. You get um, a direct line to me about any game you're considering betting. Getting these picks early has been huge, especially in the playoffs in the NBA and NHL. We're winning by like half a point, like half a goal. It's a big, big move. Um, and we also have some other perks as well. Website is linked in the comments below. Uh, definitely check that out. Um, so quick recap, what we have is the over nine in the Giants and the Phillies game. We have the Reds money line um, versus the Rockies, which is like minus 110 right now, probably. And the over nine in the Diamondbacks and the A's. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check out those other videos.